Uh, will I use Pity Flower? I don't know. But that does sound like a really good badge to have. I'm kind of good on the FP regen right now, so... I don't know. I'm just gonna get into a... I need, uh, Gumbella first. And get into this battle normally. So I can tattle the flying one. Uh, I'm gonna do a spring jump on this guy in the back. And tattle. That's a dark paratrooper. It lives in dark, damp places. Max HP is 8, attack is 4, defense is 2. Uh, it's strong, but what, uh, otherwise it's just like other paratroopers. It's airborne, so try to ground it first. Alright, these things do a lot of damage. Uh, I think we could try Rally Wing, because we haven't used it yet. Uh, Wink at Mario to give him the courage for an extra action. Tap B and A. Tap MasterCard is shown. That's really easy to perform. And then Mario just gets to attack again, so then I can multi-bounce again to get these guys on their backs. And then I should just be able to attack them normally here. Bonk. Two star points. Alright. Let's see if we got another new enemy on the next floor. Uh, just so I'm not saying anything at all during these battles, I probably should tell some stories. <laughs> so we'll see here. Oh, you are here. You could be a problem. Now we need to defuse this. Can I multi-bounce this? Alright, cool. And that guy's an earthquake. Uh, which is actually going to be really annoying if he uses that. I'm not going to lie. So you know what? Courage Shell on Mario. I, I don't know if Courage Shell actually, like, is going to do anything for this. Because you're going to use that. That's going to be really annoying. But do I take less damage? Oh, in fact, I actually take more damage because of my badges, so that's fun. Uh, okay, then. So Mario is already on way too little HP for my comfortability here. I should use, like, Sweet Treat or something on a turn when I get a chance. Also, these guys are finally giving star points now because they're, like, enemies from Chapter 6. Like, that's a good amount of star points, and not just one. <laughs> so, I have been having some stressful times at work recently. Because, uh, everything does not go according to plan anymore. And, miniature refresher, uh, for anyone who does not know, I have been working at a local Target when I'm not streaming for the last, uh, three years almost. I don't ha I can't jump on fire enemies right now. Actually, I'm gonna take the time to use a sweet treat and then just, like, power shell. Actually, I don't know if I will. God damn it. I'm gonna get this mystery out of my inventory. If it does, like, a shooting star, that would be amazing. Exactly what I wanted. Perfect. I did not want to fight this. Uh, so... There's been a whole bunch of stuff that's been going on, and I've been shifted all over the place. 
uh, for my position. I used to be like an overnight tech person, overnight tech person, and I'd push out all the tech stuff at the store, and it was a really cool time, but then I got moved all over the place. And right now, I do closing uh, at the store uh, for, uh, from 7 o'clock to 11 o'clock, because the store closes at... Oh, fire flower. Store closes at 10 o'clock, and then I stay till 11, and I do all that stuff. Uh, but... My main thing that I'm supposed to be doing is doing uh, pulls from the back room. So things that need to go back out on the floor, I pull them uh, from the back. And you know, this is where I will use it, I think. But you know what? No. Earth Tremor, screw this. <laughs> uh, so I pull the stuff and occasionally I do push it back out. But when I, when I need to, I will help guests. And I like to be polite. I need to be polite. Uh, but the thing is, is that this store is so fucked up. Like, nothing is where it should be, and we don't have people hired when we should have them hired. Uh, someone who does work in electronics department, who I've been friends with since I started working there, she's still fine there. But this guy didn't die, get out of here. She's still working there somehow, uh, through all of this. But she's there in the morning from opening at 8 a.m. till around, like, 4 p.m. or something. And then there's nobody in the, in the electronics department until, uh, anyone else- I just, and we, there's no one there. So people just have to constantly be substituting in and out. So, I got the work the other night. And a woman walked up to me asking me if I worked there, and I said yes. And she was looking, really, for a, a like an aux cord thing to have it plug into her phone so that it plugs into her phone and then plugs into uh, her, uh, her car so she can use stuff in her car. And I was helping that person, but there was also someone else there who wanted a TV. And I'm like, okay, I can help one at a time. So... I directed the person who needed the aux cord to the aisle where we keep all that stuff. And the person with the TV was like super, super angry because he was there for a while and we don't have any, we don't have any service. Like someone randomly has to have keys and walk over there themselves because they're not stationed at that department. So this guy was really angry and I do not do good under stressful situations because trauma. So, I don't like it, but I'm trying to stay as calm as possible. And, uh, he's looking for a 55-inch TV, and I scan the location of the TV, and we have none in the back room. I remember specifically selling that, that TV to someone the, the previous day. So, then he was like, okay, do you have this TV? And we didn't have that TV. And he's like, do you have this TV? And we didn't have that TV either. And he's like, what do you have? Because <laughs> you apparently you don't have anything. And it's like, yeah, we really don't have anything. I'm gonna art attack this. I hate this. I hate this. I'm gonna art attack. <laughs> um, it's like he's absolutely right. Like we don't. There's it's just it's all over the place. So I go into the back because it says we do have one TV, but lo and behold, sometimes our stuff is not located properly. So, uh. We didn't have that TV, actually. So I came back out, and I'm like, we actually don't have this TV, I'm sorry to say. And he's still super angry. So he said, what if, it, what if, do we, do you have this 50-inch one instead of 55? And I said, we do have this 50-inch one. So I went, do we have room for that? We do, because I just used the other thing. It's convenient that they're dropping items as I'm using them. And, uh, I do get the 50-inch TV. And I put it on a flat, which is just like, pretty much just like a, a, think of a flat piece of wood with wheels on it. That's pretty much what a flat is. And I put that on the flat, I'm gonna check him out. And before I can... Here, I'm just not going to attack here. I'm gonna have Coop's appeal. Before I can, there's actually two more customers that come by. Uh, one of them has an accent that I can't understand really well. Uh, you should just die. Yeah, if you don't, we don't hit him with fire. 
Uh, one person has an accent that I can't understand very well, and another person comes over and she's asking for AirPods. So, uh, the guy with the flat, I'm supposed to check him out with the TV, and he's supposed to go up to the front with, uh, someone's supposed to come and get the TV for him, and they walk it out together, because they can't leave with the flat in his hands. But he's like, take care of these guys, I'm gonna take this, and I'm already, like, super annoyed and stressed and whatnot. So, he, he leaves, <laughs> and I just had to say, there's a guest coming up on the walkie. Uh, this is actually a problem that I can't jump on this guy, and I can't use my hammer. Uh, I might need to put on ice power at some point, I don't know. Um, unsure. I, we haven't used spring jump yet, so let's try this. <laughs> Alright, spring jump. Very good. Uh, Koops can just uh, take out the other guys. So, the, the guy with the TV was also looking for an air conditioner, but for some reason, sometimes we just don't have, like, air conditioners in stock, uh, like, ever. Like, ones you'd put into your window and stuff. Uh, but, the, this other guy with an accent, I think, I think he was looking for just, like, a regular phone charger. Like, one that has regular, like, USB that you plug into an iPhone. We just didn't have any. So I had to go in the back, the person with the AirPods, I got the person with the AirPods, their AirPods, and I had to say to this other guy, he was, who was waiting there for, I think, longer than the guy with the TV, um, came by. And I had to tell him that we didn't have the thing, and he left, and I got the person the AirPods. And, like, this whole ordeal was, like, 40 minutes of Omega stress, and it was really annoying and dumb. Uh, can I do this? I want that Earthquake. But I don't have- I don't have Ms. Ma I don't have Quick Change for Ms. Mouse, and I can't take that, so that's actually, like, really annoying. I'm gonna use the Dizzy Dial we just got. And I'm gonna hope that with the Dizzy Dial, they can't use the Earthquake. Okay, well, he didn't get hit by the Earthquake, then I will just use the Fire Flower instead. I'll use the Fire Flower as well. I think, maybe, I don't know. Actually, no, we just need to take this guy out. The Earthquake's gonna be detrimental. That whole ordeal was like 40 minutes of helping all, all that all the stuff, and then I got to my normal stuff for the day. Nice. So then the following day happens. And here's what happens on the following day, because I'm expecting some annoying stuff to happen. And what did happen is that I got stopped by someone immediately when I got there. And what happened was they are a, uh, they were a, um, so let's try Ms. Mouse with her defense piercing. They're a Hot Wheels collector. So they were asking if we had any more, like, just single packs of Hot Wheels. Just one Hot Wheels car in a pack. It's like a dollar nineteen or something. Um. There we go, get out of here. Actually, Ms. Mouse can't attack this guy either. Oh, I would love a, uh, a Binjo. Hey, a Binjo! I think that refills Star- Oh, nope, that refills everything with the, with the Shine Sprites. That's huge. Alright, that helps significantly. Uh, then that's cool. Um, Ms. Mouse cannot slap this guy, so Ms. Mouse just defends, I guess. Or charges. Um, so they were asking if we had any more Hot Wheels, and I said that we have plenty in the back. So I did go to the back, and I got them for him, and by all, him, got them for him, he said he wanted all of them. He wanted to see all of them, because there's one, there's specific ones that he was looking for. So, I went into the back. Uh, there's multi bounce again. And we have so many of these single Hot Wheels, there's around, like... 300 of them. So I, I grab a, a cart that we have in the back, and I fill this entire thing like with Hot Wheels. Like all of the Hot Wheels we have. Also, we got a level up from this, which is huge. We, we got our stuff back, but then we also leveled up as well. I'm gonna put get put this into, star, into a badge points, because there's stuff I want to equip. Uh, so this took 
needless to say, this took another 40 minutes to get all of this stuff out to this guy, because I had to unbackstock it from the back room, and then find all of it, and then bring it to this guy. And I think he left with maybe, like, 20 different Hot Wheels. But then I was left with another, like, 300... Ooh, Mario became an A-list star, next battle Mario's crowd and stage get even bigger. Nice. Uh, then I had to re-backstock all of the Hot Wheels. So I had to grab all of them and just throw them in the thing. Uh, throw them back into the back room, and it was a whole ordeal. I just thought someone who wanted me to get every single Hot Wheels we had in the store and bring it to him it was very funny. Uh, with that, we're at sub-level 50 now. Strange Sack. Mario has his sack, and we can now carry up to 20 items. So now we don't have to worry about throwing things away. Uh, you saw all this stuff. 650 Jamba Jelly. Yeah, right. The Thunder Rage is, is not that bad, I'm gonna say, but... Uh, we can now make progress down below. Before we go to 51, I'm gonna use the bathroom. Alright. Down we go to 51, we're halfway through. And we have Purple Bandits. Did the music change? That's new. Music did not change in the original. That's a nice beat. I love that beat. Now, is the battle music gonna change? No, sadly. <laughs> that guy has a lot of health. Which is very cool and interesting. These are two brand new enemies. Uh, we're gonna multi-bounce this. Uh, tattle the badge badge bandit. I don't like the sound of that. That's a badge bandit. He's a bandit who'll go after your badges. That jerk. Max HP is 12, attack is 5, defense is 0. He has high attack uh, power with end HP. He sometimes steals a badge when he tackles you, so use your guard carefully. And even if he gets one, uh, keep your cool, okay? If he runs from the battle, you can always find him and re-engage him. Increase defense this turn, sure. I'll take it. There we go. Oh, cool, and I can't touch you. Ha! Huh. I mean, Gumbella needed to tattle this puff anyway. Ice puff. That's an ice buff. He's a mean snow cloud that appears in cold areas. Max HP is a 9, attack is 4, defense is 0. It swoops down and uses cold breath to attack. Trust me, it's not refreshing. That cold breath can freeze us, so try to avoid it. Also, if we touch it when it's storing cold energy, we'll get hurt. Isn't that super weak? It gets worse. It'll absorb any ice attacks you throw at it. They're uh, invulnerable, to f uh, vulnerable to fire, so try that, baby. <laughs> right, Vivian would be good to have. Ow. I'm gonna get my HP regen. <laughs> good, good. More ice puffs. Uh, let me get Vivian. Okay, I didn't even have a chance to jump. Uh, that's actually a new cleft, which means I need... I need her back out. Alright, well, let's see how much damage this does. Still five. I think just, like, fire items are good.
All right, baby, you can take a hit. Ow. All right, then swap back to Goomboa. <clears throat> it's a moon cleft. It's your basic cleft living on the moon. I wonder where we're supposed to encounter this enemy, hmm? Max HP is 6, attack is 5, defense is 5. Defense is high as usual, and fire attacks won't work against it. If you can turn it over with explosion, though, its defense goes down to 0. I might need to use power jump. Oh, I was just mashing and he gave me that, and I'm not full FP anyway. I'm gonna get a full crowd. Uh, if the power ba if the power jump doesn't work, then I might need to turn off jump man and get piercing blow. So we'll see how much power jump does. That does four. Piercing blow might be better. By all means, toss me a super shroom. Do that. Uh, I could use the Mr. Softer or something. I don't know. Uh, Ms. Mouse Pierce's defense, though, so that's something. I'm gonna have Ms. Mouse slap this guy. There's vocals down here, too. <laughs> Dark booze. We have seen. <laughs> Let me get Bobbery out. Come here. Look at me. Okay, that didn't count. Oh, and a red chump. Uh huh. How about we Earth Tremor this? <laughs> It'll at least take out the Chain Chomp. damage to everybody. <laughs> yeah, Koops would have been the better option, but oh well. <laughs> Wanted to have Bobbery since we haven't used them much. Alright, that's your attack. You're gonna flo float in the sky. That's fine by me. <laughs> and since these are also Chapter 6 enemies... We're getting, we're getting into Chapter 6 and Chapter 7 enemies, so we're actually going to be gaining star points from this. And we haven't seen Chapter 7 enemy, or haven't been to Chapter 7, but we've already seen enemies from Chapter 7. There's a lot of enemies that are also exclusive to the pit, and I wonder how they even get down here in the first place. I think Bobbery. Can Bobbery do something here? Does this do damage to you? Does three. I think I'd rather power jump on you. How much is that gonna do? Does a flat six. Cool. That guy is an ice storm, and that's quite annoying. Uh, I mean... Like, why not? I need to do the damage anyway. Okay, they do- they get- they, bleh, they take one extra damage to that. So we're gonna take Ice Storm damage here. Don't freeze me. That's not good that I'm frozen. That means I can't block this move. 
And I'm gonna take a lot of damage here. Zap Tap still kicked in. Ow. So that did a fuck ton of damage. Which is really cool of you to do that. I think I'm gonna use one of the super shrooms. I do not trust being this low. Actually, I could be this low. Maybe. Hold on. I forgot to also equip the badge. Uh, use the badge points we just got. Uh, I could put on pity flower if I wanted, but hold on. What about this? Is what I want. Power rush. Increase Mario's attack power by two when he has five HP or less. I could actually try that, and then also put the last stands on. So I don't take as much damage. That boosts my defense when I'm at 5 HP. I could try Danger Strats. I've never done Danger Strats in Thousand Year Door before. Oh, we found a mover, which is actually insane. Uh, level 55. This could take us straight to 60. Uh, but I want to see... Pit of 100 Trials. Because <laughs> I want to see if there's any enemies we're missing. <laughs> Floors 41 through 50. All we're going to be seeing is Badge Bandits, Ice Puffs, Dark Boos, Red Chomps, and Moon Clefts. And we've seen them all and we've tattled them all. <laughs> I could skip the five floors and we could make this go by very easily. The thing is, is that I would be missing out on a lot of XP. Because these things are actually going to be giving XP. <laughs> However... If we're on 55, this will take us straight to 60. I think I'd rather go to 60. So. <laughs> Skipping five whole fights is great. Uh, we get another double dip badge for getting to 60. Uh, with Double Dip, if you have two Double Dips equipped, it becomes Triple Dip, and you can use three items at once. Uh, I don't have the, the strats for that. I think I'll be fine without it. Uh, but now we're going to be seeing even more new enemies. <laughs> you there. Take the damage from my hammer. You have a vault shroom. Oh, actually, because of my HP regen, my power stuff is actually isn't actually gonna work. Now that I think about it, I would have to take off my HP regen stuff. I have to get back into danger. Because I also picked up HP. Uh, that's a Dark Lackey 2. Rides a, it rides a Rain Cloud. Max HP is 13, attack is 5, defense is 0. It attacks by throwing spiny eggs at you. If it's holding a spiny egg when you jump on it, uh, you'll get hurt. Not when I have zap, uh, Spike Shield. Sometimes the uh, spiny eggs uh, it throws turn into uh, blue, uh, sky blue spinies. Uh, if you only attack the Spinies, you'll never win. Go after the Dark Lakitu. You have to tattle that, too. Okay, I'm back in danger. Okay. So I hate this. Uh, Goombella, are you able to take some hits? Uh, that's a sky blue spiny. It appeared from a spiny egg thrown by the dark Lakitu. Max HP is six, attack is six, defense is four. It'll totally charge at you. Sometimes it balls up for uh, to defend and store energy for an attack. Uh, if you can't, if you can't uh, beat it, and any uh, buddies it may have with a special move. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing actually. I've got full star power. I think it's time for an art attack, just to get this whole thing out of here. Cause this sounds awful to be fighting right now.
Like, kill the whole squad. Okay, don't pick up- I mean, pick up one of these. Give me the Volt Shroom. I would have to take off Lucky Start here. I don't know if I'll get down to one, but Mega Rush, I don't know. I don't really know what else to put on. It's very risky going for Danger Strats, but I'm going for Danger Strats. Oh! Okay, well, that that's fine. So yeah, that guy, that guy from the Glitz Pit that we saw, he's a normal enemy down here. I don't know if I can tattle the, the bones here. I can dry it. This is normal dry bones. Uh, that's a dry bones. It's a former Koopa whose spirit anim uh, animates its bones. Eek! That's so freaky. Max HP is eight. Attack is five. Defense is two. Its HP goes down uh, to zero. It collapses into a pile, but it'll uh, eventually rise again. Fire and explosions will put permanent end to it, getting uh, getting back up. Permanent end to it getting back up, though. Dry bones will sometimes build friends if it feels if, like it's outnumbered. If you don't take uh, take them all out close together, they'll just keep coming back. Let's wipe them out all at once, and quick. These things totally freak me out. So yeah, ow. I may want to put on Sleep Stop. Oh my god, double XP. I will gladly take double XP from this fight. Gimme, gimme. Like, we are going to become overpowered <laughs> when we come out of this. We are going to be so overleveled for Chapter 7. Like, it's going to be crazy. I already thought I was overleveled to begin with. Anyway, these guys <laughs> exist. I honestly don't trust myself right now. Uh, Goombella needs to be in the front here. We can tattle the Dark Wizard. Grabby, gropey hands. That's a Dark Wizard. It's a part machine, part organic, cent a centuries old thing. Access be a 10, attack is 5, defense is 2. It uses magic to attack and to alter your condition, so stay strong and on guard. If there's only one left, it'll multiply itself to confuse you. I know they look totally goofy, but they're actually pretty tough enemies. I'm gonna multi-bounce here, because this takes out one of them. Uh, you can head bonk this guy. Never mind, that's gonna do no damage. Uh, multi bounce again. Alright, good enough. So I hate everything about you. <clears throat> We're, we are getting XP for this. Goombella is very low now. Uh, a thing that used to happen in the original game... Oh my god, you dropped a badge?! Holy shit! That's literally a 1 in 200 chance! The wiki for some reason is not... Oh no, there it is. Yeah, Dark Wizard. Oh, no! 
That's even rarer. Its hold rate is 1 in 200. Its drop rate is 1 in 300. That is the first Dark Wizard we've ever fought, and it dropped a power plus. A 1 in 300 chance! That is actually insane. That it dropped that. <laughs> that is so insane that it dropped that. I want to jump on you. So badly. Come on. I don't have to jump on you normally. Uh, don't worry about that guy dying there. That's a chapter, uh, six, chapter 7 enemy. We'll see him again eventually. <laughs> Alright, I'm curious if Spring Jump will kill. Oh, Spring Jump, a thousand percent kills. Uh, what I could actually do here is Rally Wink. Then I'm curious if a Spring Jump will kill instead, or Spin Jump will kill. Spin Jump kills when we're in danger strats. What I wanted to mention before I got interrupted uh, is that a thing that was in the original game is that a strat you could have is leaving one of your party members at, like, 1 HP. And you could do, like, danger, like, peril strats for partners with, like, other badges and stuff. Uh, but in this game, every time you get a level up, it fully refreshes everybody's HP. In the original, it only refreshed you and your active party member. <laughs> so we're gonna not be in danger strats pretty soon. But I'm gonna abuse the danger strats as I've got them. I don't need Gundela out right now, actually. I... She's just still here. Uh, jump on you again. Literally the next battle, we're about to level up again. <laughs> now, if I didn't skip those floors, we would have leveled up already. A tasty tonic. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, you. I can't even afford to do another special thing. Oh, this is gonna be very, very interesting. Uh, does Spring Jump insta-kill the Dark Crawl? Uh, it does not. But what Vivian can do here is, uh, Fiery Jinx. And that does good damage and burns the other guys. I heard Luigi cheer. These guys can charge! Ah! Mmm. Here's an idea. Uh, I hate this. I'm going to use the Thunder Ridge, and then Vivian's gonna fiery Jinx again. <laughs> Actually, that gets rid of those. Really? All right. Well, now I have to. I'm gonna level up off this. I'm gonna get my FP back. Alright, I enjoyed the danger strats while we had it. We're gonna put this back into FP again. Or not FP, uh, BP. Oh ho ho! But we're like almost good on like all the badges I would ever want to wear in this game.
Alright, so let's adjust our badges again. We have this power plus. Honestly, I could put that on. Like, a close call. The other stuff can kind of just stay on. You there. I said... Fine. Alright, that's that guy again. He's <laughs> fiery jinx. Insta kill. <laughs> I still think it might be better to have Koops out and not Vivian. Like, Koops just does good grounded damage. I'm really not going to worry about that piranha plant. They show up in Chapter 7. Alright, regular jump, that's fine. Actually, these guys are technically floating, I think. Well, let's find out. Okay, well, that would have done more damage. I was, like, one fucking frame off. Ow. Fucking, fucking star platinum on me. Don't do that. I'm gonna hope Koops does three damage and not two damage. Three. Nice. I should check what floor we're on. It's been a while. Huh. We're entering floor 69, huh? What's on floor 69? Uh, one of you. Die. Hmm. Spin jump on this guy. You can do this. And you're charging, which is completely fine. We can just spin jump again. No charging for you. Alright, we officially made it to floor 70. It's uh, 816 right now. I guess that it will be here for at least another hour. Oh, a super shroom drop? Don't mind if I do. I haven't really had to use any of my healing items. Just with the strats that we've got, it's been nice. I'll probably whale them all on the, the final floor. Alright, our reward for floor 70. Double Dip P allows partners to use Double Dip. It's something. Like, if you want, if you got the strats for it, go for it. So we just saw wizards, and now we have piss wizards. <laughs> Say hello to the piss wizards. <laughs> okay. Oh, and regular chain chomps as well. We haven't seen regular chain chomps in this game yet. <laughs> Alright, your defense is very high. I might need to take off Jumpman and put Piercing Blow on. That is a wizard! It's a part machine, part organic, centuries old thing. Max XP attack, attack is 6, defense is 3. It uses magic to attack, heal, and alter your conditions, so stay on guard. Its defense is high, but we can totally take this thing. Ow! 
Ba -do -dip -dip. All right. Chain Chomp. That's a Chain Chomp. I'd hate to get chomped by those teeth. They look nasty. Max XP is six, or max XP is seven, attack is six, defense is five. Its body is hard to most attacks, and most attack won't do much. Plus, you can't damage it with fire or ice attacks. Luckily, it has low HP, so you can take it down with a special move or an item. Chain Chomps are, like, so super pumped uh, all the time. Don't you think they ever get tired? Uh, Earth Tremor wouldn't even one-shot. I think we're in a very bad situation right now. I'm gonna have to Art Attack, and then I'm gonna have to change my badges around. Because I think we can't take advantage of Jumpman anymore, at least right now. <laughs> That'll just clear that out. One, three, oh, seven. So let's do this, shall we? Let us reorganize the badges. I'm gonna take off power. I haven't used power runs at all, but take that off. I'm gonna keep these two on though, just in case. I could take advantage of soft stop. I need to remember to have that I have that. I'm gonna put piercing blow on, and we're gonna take off jump man. Uh, which does increase my attack by a little bit, which does suck, but I've got the power plus on. Uh, and I can put on Quake Hammer. <laughs> and then I can take off our Danger Badges. I don't think we need the... Uh, I'll keep the Close Call on. I don't think I need at least one of these last stands. I'm gonna put Fire Drive on. Just cause I ha just so I have, like, really good things here. And we have uh, D the Koopa Trolls here as well. Remember these guys from the Glitz Pit? The one guy? He, this guy also came out of the pit. Um, I don't know who would be good here. Should just do this. Please. Please. There we go. Three of them, dude. Three of them. <laughs> you have 25 HP each. Alright, that at least does a bunch of damage and burns them all. Alright, now we might be starting to lean into the into the bot into the uh the FP healing item supply because this is gonna this is gonna get nutty. I didn't even kill that guy. Oh, increased defense is huge actually, because I don't have a lot of health. Oh, nice dodge. All right, we need multi bounce. You can just do a regular bomb attack. Lol, stage hazard. This should be fine. Multi bounce again. <clears throat> Another 15 star points here. We're about to level up again, so I'm not gonna dig into my items just yet. Like literally, if we if the next bat battle has some tougher enemies, we'll just literally level up off that. Green fire. All right, hold on. Here's the strat. Take the stuff off again. 
Take this stuff off again. Let me put on Jumpman again and Ice Power. <laughs> Wherever Ice Power is. So I can actually jump on these things. <clears throat> Goodness gracious me. Phantom Ember. That's a Phantom Ember. It's an angry spirit born of hatred and confusion. So, uh... uh I I'm not too cool with this thing. Blank. That's the next game. Max speed 10 attack is 5 defense is 0. It'll take damage if you touch it, and something even worse will happen if you attack it with fire. Also, if it attacks you, you might catch on fire, so try to guard well. Let's send the school back to the grave, please. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. Ooh. Yeah, attack Umbella, that's fine. Because what we're gonna do here is that I'm about to level up, and we're gonna hope this guy gives enough, and I'm just going to actually- Yeah, no, I can, uh, I can Earth Tremor this. I can Earth Tremor this. And just in case they don't die and I don't get enough XP, I'd rather hold, hold on to some star power. <laughs> Six to everybody, and Gumbella should be able to just do this. Nope, she does not have enough defense piercing. Woo! <laughs> All right. That should give us enough XP. Yep, exactly enough. All right, level up again. Uh, I uh, genuinely think we do not need to put any more XP, any more level ups into badge points. Like, we're kind of fine. Like, I'm struggling to find stuff to equip right now. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I think we just increase FP. Like, what I could have done is increase BP and then put on a, a, a Flower Plus badge. But I, I think 30 FP will be the, the, the maximum I upgrade. I don't think I'll upgrade it past 30 in this game. You there. Come here. Look at me. Come on, dude! Okay. And also same with Mario's HP. I don't think I'll upgrade the HP past 30, but I don't know yet. <laughs> That's a Swoopula, an airborne blood-sucking bat-like thing. XP is 9, attack is 4, defense is 0. Uh, as if it's losing HP, <clears throat> as if losing HP wasn't bad enough, this little creep adds to, to yours to it, adds yours to its own. How oh, totally, totally gross. Don't let it bite me, Mario. Alright, this thing's gonna suck, actually. Quite literally, in fact. Wow, okay. Okay! And you can heal. So I hate all of this, is what I hate. Uh, how about... I really want to try Showstopper. I don't know. No, I'd rather I'd rather Art Attack. I don't like this. We're gonna have to rearrange the badges again. <laughs> There's definitely some stuff I can put on that will make this easier. <laughs> I just think that sucks. That's another 20 star points right there. <laughs> I 
and we're good. All right, now then we got the chain shops. Because <laughs> this is where I would want piercing blow. Should just hit you with a hammer, to be honest. You know what? This sucks ass. <laughs> this just sucks ass. But if I ha if I if only I had more damaging items, I might need Quake Hammer, honestly. Well, how much does Piercing Blow do? Seven. So that's good. Oh my god, the XP you get from the Chain Chomps. <laughs> Alright, appeal. Nice dodge. Lol. Ms. Mouse does four damage, so that's not gonna do enough. Pal block? I'll take a pal block. I'd love a pal block. Uh, I'm gonna use the one of our super shrooms here. Just in case. Like I didn't know if the if my dodginess would come into effect. I just wanted to be absolutely sure. to do this to get my star power star meter back up. And I think Ms. Mouse is only going to do four. <clears throat> Which is unfortunate. Might need to put Zap Tap on and not lucky start. That is 30 star points, dude. Alright, I might have a better idea. What other stuff do I have? Because I might have a better idea. Maybe. I don't know! Keep Power Rush on. I'm gonna put on a Power Plus P, and I'll see how much of that's gonna help. <laughs> oh, but then these guys are here, you know? These guys are here. I don't... I don't know, man. I do not know. I'm not using the charges as much as I feel like I should be. I, d I don't know. Now, Piercing Blow would definitely still be helping right now. I'm gonna Earth Tremor this. <laughs> we got our star power back. I wanna take care of this. This'll do it. It'll take out the wizard. Ms. Mouse can just hit this one guy. Oh, uh, reduced defense, or increased defense is nice. Two. Another 19. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I keep having to think about what I want to switch around. You. No! That's not good. Alright, so what if, right? I think a POW block puts them on their back. We just got that POW block. Yes. Do that. Oh, now we're back in danger strats again. Trying to abuse the star power as we've got it right now. Because we're gonna level up. In like one, one or two more battles. We still have another like 20 something floors to go. So one more battle and we level up again. I don't pick that up actually. Shit. Alright, well, no more dangerous jets. We had the danger strats. And I still have ice power on, right? I did see ice power. Yes. Alright. Um. Me coops. You know what? I'm gonna do funny. I'm gonna do cheesy here. So here's what we're gonna do here. Is Cheese it is gonna stampede. And that'll take out the ember. And then I should be able to piercing blow the chain shop. Here we go. Okay, so the chain shop's gone. Uh, don't do that. Uh, if he does a move that hits two people... Ooh. Alright, so with this, Cheez-It should be able to kill the swoop- the- the swoopula. With the power plus P. Nice. And we have Sleepy Stomp. Please go to bed. Be on your back and go the fuck to sleep. Yeah. And honestly, just do this too, just for fun. Alright, sick. Level up again. Now, I could put this into into 30 HP. No, it'll it'll go back into BP. That's why I won't have to rearrange some stuff. 45 BP. The amount of level ups we have is insane. And we're gonna level up at least another two times, probably. Still not done here. Are we on like 79? Literally 79. All right. I actually could use tornado jump here.
Yeah, we'll just do that really quick. Mm. You know what I want to try? Patterns. This would be amazing. Hey! Insta kill! Let's go! Who needs to fight those guys? Not me! Alright, so our reward for getting to level 80. Bump attack enables you to defeat weak foes by bumping into them on the field. So, you know, in regular gameplay, it costs five to put on. That's stupid. <laughs> so, uh, with the badge that we have on down here, uh, which is the first attack badge. Let's reorganize. The first attack badge. Uh, this is originally one BP in the original game, and then it's zero here. Uh, if I just get a first strike, it instantly kills them. In this, uh, with this badge, it costs five to equip, but I instantly kill all of and all the enemies instead of having to first strike them. So in case I miss a first strike, I don't have to wait stuff. But that's five BP. That's such a waste. <laughs> like, why would I want that? All right, let's take a look at my stuff again. Well, first, let's see what's on the next floor. <laughs> that Goombella's gonna have to tattle, and I'll have to adjust my stuff accordingly. 